Good morning. This is way earlier than I usually get started in the morning. It is 7.22 and I'm just getting myself some coffee and then I'm gonna sit and enjoy for like 10 minutes and then I have to head out for an in-person meeting. I am happy though because I thought that I was gonna have to drive like over 30 minutes to get to this meeting, but it's actually a lot closer. So it's only like a 10 minute drive away. I'll give myself a little bit more time to get there. So meeting starts at eight. So I actually do have to leave pretty soon here. But anyways, happy Monday. It's gonna be a good but busy week. I'm happy that you're here to come along with me. Okay, I actually just looked it up and it said 19 minutes to get there, probably because of morning traffic. So I'm gonna take this bad boy to go. Okay, so I'm all done my meeting and I've had a lot of coffee this morning and no food. So I'm now in the Tim Hortons drive-thru and I got a multigrain bagel with half herb and garlic cream cheese and add tomato and bacon. I'm so excited. To eat this and then I have to scoot home it's 9 40 and I have an interview at 10 so we'll rush home and then we'll get on with the work day I have a very busy day I have three interviews two client calls in addition to this morning's in-person meeting so she's gonna be a busy one okay so for lunch I was hard boiling some eggs and then I totally forgot about them so they were just on full boil and then I got on a call for like half an hour so I don't know and like all the water has evaporated so I think that these are probably gonna be majorly overcooked but um, yeah I wasn't sure what to have for lunch so I was going to maybe have Annie's iconic but I thought that maybe it'd be nice for me to get some protein so I think I'm gonna do some ramen noodles oh I forgot I forgot that I bought this rice ramen so a little bit healthier of an option than Mr. Noodles, but I bought this from Costco. So I'm gonna make some of these and then have it with, like I'll make a little sauce and then have it with some hard boiled eggs. Hopefully they're not like inedible. So yeah, that's lunch. It's been a busy day. So it's 2 p.m. and I'm just eating lunch. I don't know why I said I was gonna make a sauce when like I'm totally just gonna use this. Like this is so good. So I'm just gonna put this on. Also the eggs look like they kind of turned out. Like, don't tell me that this is gonna be like perfect. Oh no, definitely overcooked. But like, not bad. Like, I didn't even know if it'd be like cooked evenly, you know? But anyways, this is gonna be my lunch. Ooh, I made two of those rice noodle packets, but I just have like a little bit in there. And then I might have some leftovers. And then I'm gonna top it with this. Gonna be delish. Okay, so I'm done work. I just took off all of my makeup and I'm waiting for Mac to get home because we're gonna go to the gym together. This is actually the first time we're ever gonna be going to the gym together. I've been part of this gym for like a couple years and Mac joined like maybe six months ago, but we haven't been together yet. So that should be pretty fun. I don't feel super like energetic, so I don't really know what kind of workout I'm gonna do. I'm really just trying to get back into the swing of going to the gym. So I'm putting like zero pressure on myself and like whatever I feel like doing, I can do. Okay, a little skin update. So I've been using my new Ultra Repair Cream and it, it has been working really well. My under eye that was literally bleeding <laughs> doesn't seem to be bleeding anymore, so that's good. So I've been really enjoying this. If you live in Calgary as well, you probably know the feeling where like, there's no moisturizer thick enough or moisturizing or hydrating enough for Calgary winters. Like it is just, so rough out here. I do have one breakout that I can feel right here. And honestly, that is like the type of breakout that I would pop. Like I wouldn't use my fingers. I would use like clean Q-tips, but I'm not gonna do that because I know that that's not helping my skin to be picking at it. So I'm going to put one of those peace out acne patches, pimple patches before going to the gym. And then I will probably swap it out when I go to bed. So I'm going to put it on to go to the gym and then later I'll do my skincare and then I will replace it. And the thing I like about the Peace Out ones that I feel like is different from some other ones is that they have salicylic acid in them. So it can really help 
clear out a breakout and this is like perfect practice for me to like not touch it and just put a pimple patch on the only thing that kind of sucks is that these are like not clear and so they look kind of not dirty but like you can see them more so than just the clear ones so i'm also nervous that it's not going to stay on just based on where my breakout is because it's like right on my on the curve of my chin you know it's like not the ideal place to have it but like truthfully i do not care <laughs> like i do not care if people see that i'm wearing a pimple patch at the gym like that's literally the whole point i'm trying to get rid of this pimple so mind your business <laughs> Good morning, happy Tuesday. I am just getting ready to go to the office and I'm trying to pick out an outfit and like I swear I have one outfit these days <laughs> and that outfit is my effortless pants and my uh, H&M sweaters. So I'm trying to figure out what I can wear today that is different, but um, maybe I could wear these pants. Maybe I could wear these pants that are from Oak and Fort and that sweater that's also from Oak and Fort. Something like that could be good. Look at my colors though. They're just all neutrals. <laughs> okay, let's figure this out. Okay, I just had to iron these pants. That's the annoying thing is that they always get like a crease here when I hang them up. But I'm um, going to wear these and then I'm going to wear that. Okay, I just got home from work. And I'm exhausted. Well, I did stop at the mall after work, so it's like 7 p.m. But I'm so tired, and I think I need to get into comfy clothes immediately. Mac is making dinner, thank goodness. We're having pizza. I'm so excited, pizza and salad. And my breakout is not doing very well. It's very, like, I don't want, I don't know if it's like infected, but like it's not, it's getting worse. <laughs> So definitely need another pimple patch on that tonight. And then I should try and go to bed early tonight because I've got another in-person 8 a.m. meeting tomorrow. And then I have meetings until like 1 p.m. straight. I started reading A Little Life last night, like just a couple pages really, but I'm intrigued. So I finished this book. It was good. I'd give it like a three out of five. It, I cried because it's about parents dying. <laughs> so I thought about my own and I cried. But it was I, three out of five, so I don't know. But I will tell you how I like this one because this is a very popular book, but it's very polarizing. Not everyone loves it. Some people literally hate it and think that it's like trauma porn because I know it's very intense, deals with very intense subject matters. So I'm trying to go slow through it, you know? So last night I was like, okay, just start it. Anyways, that's the update. Okay, so tonight we're having pizza, pepperoni, and I don't know, vegetable, olive, spinach, and dill pickle salad. And the thing with these pizzas was the packaging was so cute. Let me show you. Like branding on point, am I right? Hi cuties, happy Wednesday. Sorry the lighting is atrocious. It's because it's 7.30 in the morning, which is too early for me to be getting started with my day, but we have another in-person meeting at eight, and last time I did not grab a coffee before. I like brought my coffee to go, and this time I'm convinced, or I'm, what's the word? I'm committed my brain is clearly not on yet. I'm, I'm, I'm gonna get a coffee before we go. So I'm gonna go to Starbucks. I think I'm gonna get an Americano Misto with, actually I should order that. But y'all are on my phone right now. Um, I think I'm going to get, oh, this is even worse. Um, I'm gonna get an Americano Misto with two pumps gingerbread syrup. 
Okay, looking at my calendar for today, I've got a meeting from 8 till 9.30, then a meeting from 10 to 10.45, then a meeting from 11.15 to 12, then a meeting from 12 to 12.45, then a meeting from 12.45 to 105, then a meeting from 3 to 3.20. And a bunch of other shit to do. Okay, uh, what was I doing? Americano Misto, I do believe. I do believe is the play for this morning. I also have not, I might even just do two pumps of gingerbread syrup because that sounds good. I have not meal prepped for this week, which I haven't done this in a long time. So I'm gonna have to buy my lunch out again. I bought my lunch out yesterday, which honestly is like fine, but I just like don't like doing that. I mean, it's delicious. I love it. I love getting the avocado sesame bowl. Uh, from neighbor and adding chicken tinga. It's so good. It's like rice, avocado, um, pickled onions, eggs, uh, like spinach or arugula. It's so good. Okay, just ordering that. Okay, let's go over to Starbucks. decorations. I'm just finishing up work. It's so noisy. I got this new coat from Zara and she's so stunning and the price was really good. It wasn't even on sale. It was like $130 which honestly all the other coats were like $200, $300 and then like obviously a coat like this from Maritzia is like in the same price range so I'm very happy with that find. It snowed a little bit so there's a bit of snow in my car. Ooh but it doesn't look like I have to scrape anything off. Okay, let's go home. Okay, I'm trying to do a million things at once, but I'm waiting for Mac to get home so we can go to the gym together. I just made meatballs. I'm boiling some pasta so that our dinner will be ready for us when we get back because otherwise we'd be eating so late, which is what happened the other night when we went to the gym and then came home and we were eating like so late. I just took off my makeup, so I have this stuff out, and then I'm definitely gonna put a pimple patch on my little friend. And I'm gonna do another light workout where I just do like a bit of walking and some weights. I was thinking that I might wanna try and do like a step challenge for myself to get at least 5,000 steps in a day, because honestly, y'all, when I'm just working, like I will get like hundreds of steps. Like it is horrendous, and that way like I could either walk outside or I could walk on the treadmill or I could go to the mall like I did last night and I just walked around a bunch and I hit my 5,000 steps. So I'm thinking of maybe doing that. I don't think I'm gonna be able to hit it every day to be quite honest, like with work, but at least try, you know? Like I'm at least gonna try. So yeah. So I'm gonna at least get 5,000 steps on the treadmill and do some body weights and that'll be good enough. Here's Mac, come at home. We don't have any hot sauce at home, which is a problem. So I'm at Shoppers getting some. I'm not the biggest Frank's fan, but like it has its place. Tabasco, never heard of this. I'll probably just do Tabasco. That's good for pasta. I'm actually going to get Tabasco and Frank's because I do not want to be without. <laughs> Good morning. Happy Thursday. It has been such a busy week, but I just went and got a coffee from DeVille because my Starbucks gift card ran out and I just figured I would do something different. So I got a Nutella latte half sweet extra shot of espresso. I haven't sipped it yet, but I know it's gonna be delish. And then I'm just walking back home, gonna drive into the office. I've got like three meetings today. Quite a bit of work to do, but we're getting through it. We're getting through it. Okay, I'm just warming up my car, so I thought I'd chat with y'all a little bit more. So yeah, this week has definitely been a busy one. I feel like I haven't really been 
like taking care of myself in the way that I usually like to. Like my laundry is piling up. I haven't really meal prepped, although I do have leftovers for today. So thank goodness I don't have to buy my lunch three days in a row. But you know, it's just been kind of a chaotic week. But I have to remind myself that truly this is our busiest time. Like this is the time when I'm going to feel out of sorts. And so I have to be like gentle on myself and be like, we knew this, this was happening because it happens every year. So I'm just trying to keep it in, in perspective. And you know, we've got today, which seems like it'll be like, I say chill, but we'll just see, you know? And then tomorrow, Fridays are always a little bit quieter, although I have had some pretty crazy Fridays recently, but we'll see. And then we've got the weekend. And then what we have planned on the weekend, I don't think much. Mac and I decided that we're actually gonna upgrade our TV for Christmas. We usually get like household gifts for each other that like just like elevates the household, but we decided, because we've been wanting a new TV for a long time, because we have just like a small TV. I think it's 32 inches and we both love watching TV. So we're gonna try and take advantage of a Black Friday sale and get a new TV. So. That should be really exciting. So we'll probably do that sometime this weekend. Mac also said he wants to have like a life admin day, which like, you know I love those. So, um, what else? Do we have like any plans? I actually have no idea. I would scroll on my phone and my calendar, but I have my gloves on and I don't want to take them off because it's kind of cold. So we'll just see. We'll just see what the weekend brings. Oh, and then tonight I'm excited to see my friend Josh, who I haven't seen in a couple months. She's going to come um, to Inglewood after work and we're going to go to Canela because they have like really good like holiday treats and we're just going to have a little visit. And I'm so excited to see her because I haven't seen her in a long time. So that should be really nice. Um, so that's something to look forward to at the end of the day. So I'm just getting home. It's like almost eight because I chilled with Josh after work and it was really, really nice. We were gonna go to Canela, but it was closed, which was my bad. I should have looked to see what time it closed at. But we went to Analog instead and had London Fogs and Almond Croissants, which the Almond, the almond Croissants were very good. And it was just so nice to catch up to her. Catch up with her. If you are an introvert like me, this is your reminder to actually see your friends, okay? It's gonna be great, you're gonna love it. Josh, if you're watching, I love you. And let's not go multiple months without seeing each other again, even though that's kind of like our standard. Um, and now I have the place to myself, which is awesome. I need to get something to eat, I need to wash my hair, and I need to do some laundry because we need to like get get my shit together a little bit to end off the week strong, okay? Okay. Okay, so I had an almond croissant, so I'm not super hungry, but I do need something for dinner. And I'm gonna make some chicken tenders. And I bought, I, I've never bought these, like chicken tenders from the grocery store, but I was filming a partnership for Scene, and there was like a deal where you get more Scene points if you buy these, so I bought them. And I feel like it's gonna be the perfect thing for me to eat tonight. It also comes with plum sauce and I'm a sucker for plum sauce. So, preheated the oven, gonna throw these bad boys in there and that'll be my dinner. Okay, so I put my chicken fingers in for like an extra five minutes because I wanted them extra crispy. Oh baby, can you hear that? They look amazing. Also the plum sauce, iconic. You just put it in some warm water to defrost and it's good to go. Oh, I can't wait to eat this. Okay, so I really need to wash my hair and I'm waiting for my chicken nuggets to cool down and I'm like, can I speed wash my hair in like 10 minutes? And then like my little reward is my chicken tenders, you know? Cause like, it's gonna be really hard to motivate myself to wash my hair after I eat. So I think I'm gonna try and speed wash it. So let's try. It's like a reward. Mm. 
Why is this the first time I'm buying chicken tenders? Okay, I'm so tired. It's like 10.20, but I'm just going to fold this laundry and then go to sleep. I'm so glad that I washed my hair because it really needed it. And I just have a feeling I'm gonna sleep like a baby tonight. Okay, we're doing something exciting before I start work. We are ordering a TV for Black Friday for our Christmas gift for the household. And we've been wanting to upgrade our TV for three years. Three Since years? Since we got the first TV. Since we got the first TVs. When we moved in together, we actually had the exact same TV. So we actually have one in the closet and one out here. And it's 32 inches, we think. So we're gonna buy a 55 inch and we're very excited. Hi cuties. So I'm about to jump on my first call of the day, but I wanted to give a little update. So I have some exciting news. I'm gonna be doing Vlogmas, which I've never done before. I'm not gonna do every day of December because there's just no way. This is like my busiest month at work. And if I try to do every day of December, like I'm gonna burn out and it's not gonna be pretty. So I'm gonna try and do the first 12 days. So like a video every single day, December 1st, December 2nd, December 3rd, all the way to the 12th. And I have a lot of really exciting Christmas plans like during that time. So I'm honestly so excited for this. And in order to like prepare like, energy wise mentally and also like doing some like creating some like my end card and my thumbnails and like just getting it all ready and organized i'm actually gonna have this be my last vlog until december 1st so it's only a week so you'll just be without me for a week i hope that you can understand that because i'm going to be coming out with 12 videos in 12 days in december so i hope that you're excited for vlogmas i am like it's going to be a creative challenge and just like a challenge in general to be like pumping out that much content to be filming every single day and i'm just excited to see how it goes like I just want to try it and like my coworker Morgan is also gonna do it so I'll link her channel down below and we're just like gonna try it you know cuz like last year we were saying that we wanted to do it and we're like okay maybe next year and then it's now next year it's now December is in one week from today so anyways I really hope that you're excited for that and I hope that you're cool with uh, not seeing me for a week but trust me you'll be seeing a lot of me once December 1st rolls around so thank you for watching this vlog I hope that you enjoyed it I hope that you're doing well. I hope that you're taking care of yourself, unlike me. <laughs> no, I'm okay. I Last night really helped me, honestly, washing my hair, doing some laundry, and Mac is out like picking up our TV right now, which is so exciting. So good things are coming, good things are coming. And yeah, I am really looking forward to this new content challenge, and I hope that you'll enjoy it too. So please, if you're a regular watcher of my channel, please support me during Vlogmas because I hope that it's worth it. Like, I don't know, it'll be worth it if it's like fun for me and if it's enjoyable for y'all. That's all I really care about. So I'll catch you then, okay? Bye.